Hey YouTube, so today I want to show you how to fix your Google Chrome problems. Any problems that you may have in there, like pages running slow, errors or stuff like that, or I don't know, certain pages not loading as they're supposed to, they can all be fixed with just one little fix. Now there's something you need to know about Google Chrome first, reinstalling it will not help. That is just in the case if you get some .dll errors as we call them, you know, like where it says this dll is missing or that dll is missing. In that case you maybe want to reinstall in Chrome, but in 95% of the cases that will not help you. What you do need to do is go mess with your user data folder. Now I want to show you quickly how to do that. So basically I'm going to just show you my Chrome quickly. This is just a standard Chrome that I have. I have some bookmarks here, I have some pages, some history, you know, it's pretty standard. So I want to show you how to actually go to the folder that I'm talking about, this user data folder it's called. So basically what you do is you open an explorer, you can click the start button and just type here explorer and you can take the file explorer right here and you can highlight the bar right here and you can type here percent local app data percent. Now once you go in there you'll have here the Google folder and in the Google folder you have the Chrome folder. Now here is the user data folder that I'm talking about. Now you need to know that pretty much anything that happens in Chrome is stored in this folder. So any error or any problem that you may have is most likely also going to be stored inside this folder. Now let me show you something. If I open the properties of this folder, you're going to see that it's about 153 megabytes right now. Now if I go into my Chrome and I just mess around a bit, I open some pages some news websites, whatever, some Twitter, some YouTube, uh, just gonna mess around a bit and I close it afterwards. You're gonna see if we go back to the properties that right now it's already 155 megabytes. So it added already two megabytes in just what, five seconds or something like that. So basically this folder is getting bloated over time the more you use Chrome. And that's basically a big part of what's causing your Chrome to go slow. So what we're going to do is actually very easy to fix this. We're going to first make sure that you closed Chrome and we're going to rename this folder. I'm going to rename it to user data underscore old. There we go. And when we open Chrome now, you're going to see that Windows is going to make another user data folder, a new one right here. And if you go to this one, you'll see that the size is only going to be 20 megabytes. Now you'll see if you open Chrome, it looks like when you reinstalled it. So basically this is more how you reinstall Chrome than actually reinstalling it. So resetting this user data folder is gonna help you way more in any problem that you have than actually reinstalling it. So now you'll say, yeah, okay, that may help, but where are my bookmarks? Where are my passwords? Where is everything that I saved in my Chrome? Well, I'm gonna show you. See, we didn't delete this folder, but we renamed it to underscore old because all your information is still stored inside this folder. And I'm going to show you where. If you open it up and you go into the default folder, you're going to see that you have some files here. I'm going to highlight them all for you. So these bookmarks, this is basically your bookmarks that you had in your old Chrome. Your cookies are right here. Of course, you don't need that. Your history, if you want that, it's right here your login data files, these are your passwords, your preferences, which I do not recommend copying back because there's a big chance that whatever problem you had was actually stored into those preferences, but you can copy them back if you prefer. Um, so these are basically files that you were using in your old Chrome. You can just right click those and copy them and you can go two levels back, one, two, and then you'll go into the new user data folder and go into the default here. Again, make sure your Chrome is closed or you cannot do this. And you can just right click here and press paste. And we're gonna replace the files in the destination. Now, if we open Chrome again, you'll see that my bookmarks are nicely back here. Any passwords that you had will be nicely back in there. So you can just use Chrome as it was before. The only difference is that this folder, the user data will be a lot less bloated. So this is going to be probably around 40. No, it's okay. It's 27 megabytes. And this one was in my case, 155. Now, by the way, 155 is very light. Like I did this, I think yesterday. So probably if you're going to check with your Google Chrome, this may actually be one gigabyte or even more than that. So it's really worth to just rename that folder to underscore old. And once you're sure that you copied everything back to your Chrome, you can just delete that underscore old folder. So you'll have a small bonus there because you can actually make some space free on your computer, which will anyhow make it run smoother again. 
Now, any problem that you had before with pages running slow, with errors, with pages not loading and stuff like that, go and test it out after you did this little procedure. And I can tell you 90% that your problem will actually be solved. Now, I do recommend doing this every once in a while, getting these user data folders cleaned up because they will, of course, fill up again over time. And yeah, that's about it. That's how easy it is to actually make your Chrome go very fast again. So before you close this video, guys, I would very much appreciate it if you would hit the like and the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos about how to make everything smoother. And I have a great video about how to make your Windows 10 go a lot faster, how to make it start faster, how to increase your frames per second in your games and stuff like that. So be sure to check out my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video.